Canada's women's national team opens the women's international tournament here in Brasilia, Brazil on Thursday against Scotland at the Estadio Nacional. But more than just the opening game of another tournament for Canada, it marks the 200th appearance in a Canada jersey for the one and only Christine Sinclair. Sinclair's first senior cap came on March 12th of the year 2000 when then head coach Evan Pellerud played her against China in a 4-0 loss at the Algarve Cup in Portugal. Two days later, she scored her first senior goal in a 2-1 loss to Norway, and since then, Sinclair's been a driving force for the women's game both at home and internationally. Her roommate here in Brazil is midfielder Sophie Schmidt. Schmidt counts herself amongst those who grew up marveling at Sinclair. Um, amazing. I, I played with her cousins, and she came out to one game when I was younger, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's Christine Sinclair. And then to, to be on the field with her, like, her presence is just so calming. You know, you just, you're comforted knowing that she's your teammate, because she's going to get stuff done on the field, and she's just such a great leader and inspiration to Canada. It's awesome. Goalkeeper Karina LeBlanc was already in the national team setup when Sinclair made her first strides into international football. LeBlanc was impressed right away, and her opinion of the striker has grown exponentially since then. I remember her, not to age myself, first coming into camp, and she was like this young girl, and I remember she had a shot, and I was teaser about this, and she was close in, and she placed it, and I was like, who is this kid? And I think that just sums up Christina. She's just one of the per people that... No matter what's going on, she, she finds a way to just do what she needs to do. And, you know, most people would blast that away. She just placed it. And she's such an international level, yet she's such a class friend and person. And uh, it's just anybody who gets a chance to play with her knows what you're talking about. I mean, I think people see that in her when she's talking, but she's just an incredible human being. And you put an incredible soccer player on top of that, it just it's an honor to play next to her. There is still a game to be played on Thursday, and though it is certainly a unique and somewhat celebratory occasion, it is no mere formality, and Canada has its work cut out for it against Scotland. It's going to be a physical game. They're well organized. Uh, I think we know what to expect from them, um, but it'll be a really hard game, and it'll challenge us, especially in the heat. The humidity here is kind of terrible, and so it's just kind of realize that it's going to be hard, and it's going to hurt earlier than it normally does, and just kind of finding uh, little tricks that we can use. We'll have full in-game and post-game coverage of the historic event on Thursday for Sinclair and for Canada. Kickoff is 7.30 p.m. local time. That's 4.30 in the Eastern time zone and 1.30 for those of you on the West Coast. But for now, that's it from me here at the Canadian Training Session in Brasilia. I'm Gavin Day. This is Canada Soccer TV, and I'll talk to you soon.